with Evan Brooks releasing another Commander class engineering model by the name of SS86 Optimus Prime, I thought that it would be the perfect time to take a gander at its incredible predecessor. Hello and welcome to Jinx, where today we'll be taking a look at Earthrise Leader Class Optimus Prime. Back in the dreaded year of 2020, a year shrouded in Boris Johnson fuckups and Matt Hancock's botched interviews, we were gifted with the second chapter of the Wolf's Armstrong trilogy, Earthrise. Nowadays, this is regarded as the worst of the trilogy. Basically a line of remolds of Siege's greatest figures and exclusives that cost an arm and a leg. But back in 2020 this line was held on a pedestal due to its G1 look and of course its flagship figure, Leader Class Optimus Prime. This was a talking point of the entire fandom for years to come, especially now with the perfect 86 figure on the horizon. So does it still hold up today? I won't lie, it kind of really does. It's still a fantastic figure. For the aftermarket price of 80? No. But 30 to 50? Yes. I mean, this is still one of the highlights of the entire War for Cybertron trilogy. That good, it was re-released in Kingdom and used as the skeleton for the Laser Prime release, mainly the legs. He looks like a downscaled version of MP10, but with slightly less articulation and ass wheels. Despite this, he stands with a sense of honour and grandeur. His proportions are off giving him the waist every trans girl wishes they had, same with the large chest and long legs. Basically, he's the ideal trans girl body type and what we all try to achieve. For its time, four years ago, how was it four years ago? This was the best look for Prime, but now, I think he looks a bit washed out and he's showing his age. Fake six figure has colours brighter than most people's future, and the white legs that I've craved in a Prime for years. But since this figure is supposed to be him in war, as the toy line suggests, these colours do fit him well. But next to the 86 Magnus and Blaster, he just looks dull, like a summer retirement home. His weapon is also dull, just a chode of a grey growth sticking out the side. Might want to get a swab test of that mate. I mean, he does the job, but he doesn't feel like Prime. He comes with a boring trail that can open up into an even more boring repair bay. The details get lost and even a little drone guy gets bored. But, he can attach to Prime's back and along with the shield door can make him look like a medieval knight going on an adventure. He also has the Matrix in the Matrix Chamber, the first of 500 that we've seen since it's released, but Magnus still has him beat. Now the articulation for Prime is very standard, as, as you would expect, because um, this is a Wolf Sap from Figure, but he did have, he was the first of you know, many to come with special jokes, maybe you would call them. So his head is on a very loose ball joint, maybe because mine is the second one of the Prime that got released when Double Dealer also came out. Um, Shoulders are on universals, he does have bicep swivel, 90 degrees of the arm, he does have wrist swivel, and opening hands which do add a lot of expression to the figure. He does have a waist swivel, but it is hampered by the ass cheeks. Um, but you're not really going to move the um, waist 360 anyway, unless you want to kill him. His legs can go up that far and back that far but further if you remove the butt flaps which i'm not doing because i do not want to break it legs go out that far knee bends a mm, lot more than 90 degrees which is great um and he does have ankle pivot and toe and heel articulation if you really want to and obviously the the boobs can open up and that's it it's very standard for the time uh, actually no, it's exceptional for the time but nowadays we have figures like well Commander Magnus and other figures that are just kind of the same but also better. So it just shows how much you've improved in in just four short years to be honest with you, and it's shocking. The transformation reminds me of like a Shadow Striker as it just explodes into a million pieces. The chest origami's out and meets with the ass to form the front of the truck, and the arms and legs do the classic prime. And in the end, you get a nice boxy truck. Test the trailer and you get the best Optimus Alt mode until the H61 comes out. This is as Optimus Prime as it gets until the H61 comes out. The trailer looks short and stubby on the H61. What I'm saying is, the H6 figure looks so much better than this, and I'm sorry, but that's my opinion, and I can't wait for the H6 figure. I'm so excited. But overall, it's still a fantastic figure. It was my favourite of 2020 for a reason, but comparing it to the looks of H61, it's still good. It's like comparing MP10 to MP44, they're going for two different things and what you prefer will depend on you, but me, I think 86 is better. So in September, this Prime will be heading over to Manic Miners. I've been Jinx and this has been my look at Transformers Wolf Sabaton Trilogy Earthrise Lady Class Optimus Prime. 
Don't forget to check my book out, the link will be in the description, and I will see you in my next TikTok to another character from the franchise we all love.